Um, and this is going to be centered around the thumb, uh, the thumb technique, I guess I'll say. Uh, one of the things that I like to do, I'll just start, I'll show you a few things, but one is going down and up with the thumb. And it's identical to using a guitar pick. So uh, when I'm going to hit the E string with my thumb, it goes through the E string and stops on the A string. That leaves, it, that leaves your thumb in perfect position to come back up. So all you want to do is just practice on one string first, lightly. Right? And I'm going to go kind of fast here to get through it, but you can rewind the tape. Uh, just practice switching strings with it. Then adding notes to it. Then what I'll add to that is I'll add one finger pluck to that. So what we'll do is we'll go down with the thumb, up with the thumb, and then pluck once. Now where it gets real interesting is when you can do all of this on one string. So if I was going to start on the fifth fret on the A string and play that D, down, up, pluck, all on that one note. And then always get comfortable playing different notes with your left hand. Right? And just one more thing. Now we're going to add one more pluck to it, and I, and I think we'll stop there. I'm going to use the thumb now, down, up, one pluck, then two plucks, index, middle. Thumb down, thumb up, pluck, index, plucks, middle. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, down, up, pluck, pluck. Another thing that you'll want to do, want to learn to do, uh, is practice this for one, hard to soft and everything in between. A lot of the times when we're using our thumb, we can only play hard and in the key of E. So also, you want to practice different, uh, different keys and adding notes. Because what the thumb is doing shouldn't affect what the left hand has to do, or the fretting hand. Okay? Now, what's really going to open this technique up is being able to do all of this on one string, one note. Okay? So, going back to the fifth fret, the D on the A string. Down, up, pluck, pluck, all on one note. Now, it's going to take a little practice and a lot of control, but you can get it. Then move it around. Now, start applying a different note for each attack, meaning each one, one, two, three, four, right? And that's uh, probably one of the latest things that I've been working on, trying to get control of that, to be able to run lines. Uh, to be able to play all kinds of melodies with that attack, because it sounds different than that. That's about it. Good luck. Have fun with it.